The Hummingbird Theater presenting the Amish Project. It's coming up November 6th through the 10th at the Muck in Rochester. I'm delighted to welcome back to the program. Two uh, returning guests uh, have been here numerous times. Don Bartolo, the director, along with MJ Savastano. Great to have you both here. Uh, thanks. Great to be here. Don, I know, uh, and I know that you are always excited about these projects that you bring to the, to, to mm -hmm. the stage. There's something different about this one for you, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, there is. I've been telling everybody, um, I've been in community theater for about 60 years, mm -hmm. starting in 1964. This is the most beautiful play I have ever been associated with. Why? Because it tells an inspiring story of how after a tragic event like the one that took place in 2006 in Nickel Mines, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. where children were killed, that the Amish community forgave the shooter and spent a lot of time with the shooter's family. Mm -hmm. It's a remarkable, uh, just a remarkable um, play. Well, we can use that word to describe what MJ is going to pull <laughs> off here as well. Help our viewers understand, uh, it, typically you'll have a character that you play. Uh, you're playing, uh, what, seven, seven. characters yes. in this production? Help us understand how this is going to play out. So. I play seven different characters, and they're all in it about the same amount. And the transitions, a lot of them happen very quickly. Sometimes I will be in the middle of a sentence where I will change a character. Uh, I wear one costume. It's not, you know, changing costumes, doing anything like that. So mm -hmm. it all has to happen within, you know, my physicality, my voice, things like that. Why take on a challenge like this? What was it about this that was appealing to you uh, personally and professionally? I've done one-person shows before, and it's it's such a challenge. I, I while I love the the challenge of it, it's really difficult to be up there alone. Um, but I read the play, and I was emotionally affected by it. So emotionally affected by it, I thought it was a really important piece of work, beautifully written, and um, I really wanted to do it. What do you hope people will take away from this? I think production. I really hope, and I think this play will. Get them to think about their own ability to forgive. We're looking forward to seeing it play it out on stage. Good. Good luck to you, of course, you. keeping Good. track of who's who up there. <laughs> and thank you for bringing it to the stage here as well. We're thank looking forward you. to seeing it. Thank you, Mark. Again, the Amish Project, this is a must-see, uh, again, at Rochester's Multi-Use Community Cultural Center. Uh, tickets at the door, of course, or online at muck.org. We'll share that on our site as well, as always, at rochesterfirst.com.